Those of you who are subscribed to this channel probably know that I just finished up with my review of the brand new Google Pixel Watch. And while I really, really liked it, battery life was just a bit too much or maybe too little for me to overcome. So I've recently gone back to using my Galaxy Watch uh, 5 Pro. Now, one of the things I'm missing most about the Pixel Watch, there wasn't really so much a feature or anything, that was the appearance. And a good way to get some of that appearance is actually by stealing some of the watch faces. I actually like the watch faces on the Pixel Watch quite a bit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get those great juicy Pixel Watch faces on your Galaxy Watch 5 Pro or on any other Wear OS device, which is running Wear OS 3.0 and further. It's actually not that crazy of a process. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is we need to actually go get something called ADB. I believe it stands for Android Device Bridge or something like that. I'm going to have a link to this in the description down below. Go to this website. This is developer.android.com. This is nothing to be afraid of. Scroll down and download the SDK platform tools for Windows, or perhaps you are a Mac user. It's weird that you have an Android watch and you're a Mac user, but whatever, Linux as well. All your options are right there. Click on that. Things going to pop up. Go ahead and scroll down, tick a box, and then download. You're going to get a little zip file. Extract that zip file, and then you're going to get this folder with that folder inside it. I recommend taking that folder, naming it ADB, copying it, and then pasting it at the root of your C drive so that it's, just trust me, it's going to make things a lot easier. So do all that stuff, and then we can continue from there. So now we're going to have to do stuff on our actual watch itself. We're going to have to put it into developer mode and enable debugging over Wi-Fi. So this may vary from watch to watch. You can actually already see this is a Pixel watch face already on there, so you know that this is a legitimate tutorial that is going to work. But this may vary from device to device, but it should broadly be the same. This is on, like I said, a Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Click on your settings, scroll all the way down until you see About Watch. You're looking for Software Info, and then you're looking for Software Version. And you're going to tap this a whole bunch of times until something pops up down here that says Developer Mode Turned On. Now on other devices, you may be looking for something that says Build Number or something uh, to that extent. If you can't find it, Google how to enable developer options on your particular watch and you'll probably find something. But it's either going to be Build Number or it's going to be Software Version. Once you've done that, if you go back a couple of times, Developer Options should be there. Now for me, I did this and it was not there. I had to restart my watch, do that again, and then Developer Options popped up. Your mileage may vary. Go into Developer Options, scroll down to where you see ADB Debugging, turn that on, then turn on Debug over Wi-Fi. On some devices, you may actually be able to see your IP address right here, but on this device, for whatever, I'm not able to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, we're going to long press on Wi-Fi, we're going to then make sure that we connect to the Wi-Fi, and we're going to note what this IP address is when it pops up here on the screen in just a moment, we're going to click on that, and there's our IP address. So make sure you note what that says, because we're going to need it here in a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on another link. This is to APK Mirror, where someone has backed up these watch faces, and there's actually uh, been an updated version on the 13th, whatever. So we're going to click on Download APK, and that's going to give you, simple enough, an APK file. Now I would also recommend though taking that APK file and renaming it something nice and simple like faces. Otherwise it's going to be a really really long crazy name that you're not going to want to type in here in just a little bit. So rename it something nice and simple. Oh I should actually go back to the screen. And you're going to want to copy that and then put it in that ADB file, that folder I should say. So remember we renamed it to ADB, that folder that we extracted and we put it in the root of our C drive to make it nice and easy. Paste it in here. It's just going to make stuff way easier again as we go forward. So now let's close that, let's hit our start menu and let's type CMD and let's drag this over so that you'll be able to see it a bit easier. And we're going to uh, do this. You're gonna type in CDC colon slash ADB and now we have done a change directory into that ADB folder. Can you see why we moved it into the root of our C drive? It made that much, much simpler. Otherwise we have to type in the entire place where that folder is. This is much, much easier. Now we need to actually connect to our watch. So we're going to type in ADB connect and then whatever your IP address was. I told you to remember that. Well, that's when you need it. 192.168.0.43 colon 5555 was mine. And then hit enter. Everything has gone according to plan. You should have something pop up on your watch that asks you to allow this to take place. It may also be helpful in this moment to make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. Go back to your Wi-Fi configuration screen 
and actually make sure that it is currently connected to Wi-Fi. These things like to disable Wi-Fi a lot, and so that might happen. So if that does happen to you, take that bit of text, copy it. Again, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi by being on that screen, paste it back in, and try it again. And by doing that, I now got this screen. So allow debugging, we're gonna click on OK. We're pretty much in really good shape at this point already. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to type in adb minus e install faces.apk because that is what I named it. I'm not gonna do this because I've already done it. You're gonna click on enter. It's going to install these watch faces and you're pretty much done at this point. In fact, we can go back to our home screen. We can long press here and then let's do that again because it went away. Stop doing that. What is going on? I wasn't holding it long enough. I'm dumb. Add watch face. And if we scroll all the way to the other end, because they're going to be all the way at the end, way, way, way down. There we go. We are now into the pixel watch faces and things are customizable. You can do whatever you want with them. Now, and another cool twist of fate, if you go to your Galaxy wearables uh, app on your phone, you'll see that they are also here to be customized as well. There's my watch face. We can click on customize, let it load for a moment, and we can change the colors. We can change bold time or not, layouts, complications. All this stuff is customizable. Now, there are some little bits of weirdness in there, right? Some things are a little bit strange. There's a battery widget, a complication, as they call them, and I'll show you what it looks like here. And it has the percentage in the middle. When I set that on my phone, it showed a, a battery icon with like an amount drained out of it, no percentage. When I went onto my watch and long pressed and set the complication, it had the one with the number on it. So you may run into some weirdness through this process. But overall, as you can see, it is functioning just fine. And I have all those watch faces on there. So, guys, hopefully that was useful to you. Hopefully you enjoy your brand new Pixel watch faces. Like I said, there may be some weirdness with some of them. They may, they may not all work absolutely perfectly. But hopefully this was useful nonetheless. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy. Man.